give him the finger. Racist Nazi. We don't want the KKK. You're like, the KKK? Really? We, it, that'd be funny if we just showed up on horses in Klansman uniforms. Like, kadum, 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 kadum. We're here to do our KKK talk, boy. Get out of my way. Anyway, what happens when incompetence meets arrogance? Dear white people, here's a list of acceptable stop, Halloween- Stop, stop. People are screaming at me, dude. They're saying like, die, scumbag, Nazi, and you have a drawing of a fuck you finger. <laughs> so insane. Anyway, eventually I just said to the bald guy, uh, you're a fucking fraud, you're a liberal asshole, and you uh, ruined this talk, you idiot. It will go well if someone wanted to go and speak on a college campus. For sure, a, a that tour happens. That said, that, that, that talk the time. <laughs> yes. Really? I really want to know. I really, I really want to know where does anybody... <laughs> Have you been to a Black Lives Matter protest? Absolutely I mean, not. I what do we Black want? Dead cops. When do we want them now? It's, it's a popular sentiment. Police officer. Really? And it, Ten reasons why Obama was the worst president ever. And let's start with race relations. All Americans agree, not all, uh, the majority of Americans agree that things are way worse now. This is because he keeps using this red carpet of victimhood and says, you know, slavery wasn't that long ago. That's what he said in his farewell speech. People, these folks are just trying to organize. Black Lives Matter is just trying to organize. You purport this myth that we live in this racist country, that the Western world is evil and racist, and there's these cops on hills, and big fat boss hog. Hey, Sandra Bland didn't use her fucking indicator. Pfft, she's dead now. How's that for an indicator, bitch? And in fact, I should be making this list about Valerie Jarrett. She's the boss over there. But uh, so that leaves all these, Libya's in a total state of chaos. All the refugees go up, ruin Europe. That's your fault. You ruined Germany. And Benghazi happened under your watch. That's your fault too. And, and they say, well, he's got a great approval rating. Yeah, wonderful, by women. And all these countries love him. Yeah, loser countries like France. I don't care what Denmark thinks of America. I care what Russia and China think of America. And they're not impressed. Destroy them. We've been doing it for a while now. And I got to say, it's really invigorating. Even when you lose, you feel great about yourself. Don't take the side door. Take the front door. Yeah, you get pepper sprayed. But you also win. And winning is fun. And that's why I am... Proud of my boy. Can we cue that up? Let's have it. Proud, proud of your boy. boy. I'll, I'll make, make you proud, proud of your boy. boy. Believe me, bad, bad as I've been, been mom, mom, you're in for a pleasant, pleasant surprise. surprise. I've, I've wasted time. time. I've wasted me. Not being scared of controversy is fucking retarded. It's a death knell. And I would say, I'd be told, oh, you got some complaints with that thing. And I'd go, from whom? Inevitably, when you get complaints, it's some blue-haired loser who's probably a necrophiliac. That's who you're scared of. That's who you're worried about. Oh, no, you were on Media Matters. <laughs> I'm scared. Is blackface offensive? Can Sarah Silverman do it as a joke? Okay. Why can't Fred Armisen? Why does he have to be Obama who is pale? It's, he looks like Obama with food poisoning. It looks ridiculous. Why, why is that one thing out? It's like the Asian voice. You're not allowed to speak Chinese, but you can do every other voice. I don't think they need me. This is not me saying, I'm leaving this company because they're fucked. This is someone dumping a girl because he she won't let him get to third base. They uh, dumped me first. They're just not that into me. But when someone's not into you for a while, you become Ralph and the Simpsons and you chew, chew, chews, Fox, and you realize this is not going anywhere. So I am fucking done with FNC and FBN. And I got to say, it feels pretty good to be able to say whatever the fuck I want. No more worrying about shooting in the tent. Hey, Fox News, fuck! Vigilante violence against police officers who've killed civilians and have right. not been indicted. Is that, that, that protected? Should that be protected on campus? That was, I mean, that look, is. No, 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 no again, that was suppressed on, a, you know, by, by those editors. So I just, and I, I want, want, want a place where I can... Okay, just stop it again. On. Now, this is, this guy is obviously used to talking to 20-year-olds. He appears to be a 40-year-old student who looks like a Hispanic hamster. Uh, and he's not used to anyone knowing what they're talking about. But Tucker's done his homework. So when you throw a hypothetical at him, he can tell you the court case that solidified that hypothetical as real. And watch his face after Tucker brings that 
pulls that out of his magic hat. Okay. What do you think about this? Should someone who okay. actually advocates killing police officers be allowed to debate on a campus or to, okay. to no, not even debate, to sort of come on and say if what they believe on campus? If you are asking me a question, then let me answer okay, it. This tell is me. not I a question know. for college administrators to decide. It's been decided by the Supreme Court in a case called Brandenburg versus Ohio, 1969, the last big free speech case. And the upshot of it is that advocating violence is indeed protected speech. And of course, politicians do it all the time. We ought to bomb No one's ever done that to you that before, have they, violence. buddy? It's protected by the First Amendment. What is not protected is inciting violence, imminent violence, destruction, or mayhem. I cannot say, go smash the windows of that liquor store. Duh. So here's my point. Anything Gavin McGinnis conceivably said or would have said on your campus is protected speech. Now, if you'd taken 10 minutes to Google this, you'd know that. And so there's really not a close call here. What he's doing is protected by the First Amendment to the Constitution. So 